Hi, Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. So for this video, we will continue with the third part of subtopic 1.2 mole concept and we will go through some calculation involved concentration. Let's continue with mole fraction. So mole fraction x is the ratio of the number of mole of one component to the total number of mole of all component present. Okay, so this is the formula. Mole fraction, let's say you want to find A. So, X mole fraction of A. Okay. So, ini cara tulis di pen simbol. Number of mole for A, divide with total number of all component. Okay. So, you can see here, to find mole fraction of component A, it is equals to mole of component A, divide with mole total. Mole fraction are independent of temperature and has no unit. Okay, tak perlu tulis unit. The total mole fraction in a mixture of solution is always equal to 1. Okay, so macam ni spa, total mesti equal to 1. Contoh, if you have component A, B and C. So, Dalam satu bekas, if you have A, molecule A, B and C. Okay, so ada banyak lah dalam this beaker. And the total mole fraction, okay, hasil tambah mole fraction A, mole fraction B dan mole fraction C will always equals to 1. For the mole fraction is always smaller than 1. So, setiap satu ni, Mesti kurang daripada satu. Let's have a look at this example. What is the mole fraction of CuCl2 in a solution prepared by dissolving 0.3 mole of CuCl2 in 40 mole of water? Okay. So, for this question, just directly masukkan value dalam formula So for the mole total okay so dalam beaker ni kita ada CuCl2 water Okay so mole CuCl2 0.3 mole and water 40 mole Okay so, you just tambah 0.3 tambah 40. Your answer will be 7.44 exponent negative 3 lah. Okay, so make sure your answer for mole fraction, it is always less than 1. For next example, what is the mole fraction for copper to sulfate? CuSO4 is prepared by dissolving 30 gram of copper sulfate in 200 gram of water given with mass instead of dia bagi mole. So apa yang kita kena buat? Kita kena tukar dulu mass given here. Mass tukar pergi mole dulu. Okay, so baru boleh cari mole fraction. Right, so first, mole for CuSO4, it is equals to 0 0.1875 mole. Mole for water, mole fraction for copper to sulfate. Okay, ni dia punya jalan kira. And the final answer is 0 0.01659. Let's test yourself. A solution is prepared by mixing 55 gram of toluene and 55 gram of bromobenzene. Okay, so this is the formula. What is the mole fraction of each component? Okay, so you are preparing a solution. So you add toluene and then you add bromobenzene to prepare a solution right so what is the mole fraction of each component so kamu kena cari mole fraction mole fraction 
mole fraction for each berapa kita kena cari mole for each component so mole Let's continue with percentage by mass. So percentage by mass is defined as the percentage of mass of solute. Okay, divide with mass of solution. It is usually used for solid dissolved in liquids. It is also known as weight percentage. So this is the formula. As you can see here, mass of solute in gram divide with mass of solution in gram times 100% okay so let's say for example kalau you are given with mass in kilogram for solute and mass in kilogram in solution okay so in this case boleh sebab we can cancel off the unit but okay be careful if let's say the question give you solute in gram but solution in kilogram what you need to do is samakan dulu dia punya unit baru masukkan dalam formula so that you can cancel off the unit and times with 100%. Let's have a look at this example. A sample of 0.892 gram of potassium chloride. So ini adalah solute dissolve in ok so dia dissolve dalam pelarut which is water so ini adalah pelarut solvent what is the percentage by mass of the solution ok so kita nak cari mesti take note ini apa solute, solution ataupun solvent so in this case this is your solvent ok so Maksudnya, to prepare a KCL solution, mesti masukkan KCL sebanyak 0.892 gram and then you add on 54.3 gram of water. Ok, so barulah kamu akan dapat here the solution. So, means mass of solution, kamu kena tambah mass of KCL plus mass of water. To find percentage by mass, okay, mesti darab 100. And your final answer will be 1.62%. Right, so for this question, HCl can be purchased as solution of 37% of HCl. And then what is the mass of this solution that contains 7.5 gram of HCl? So ini adalah solute. Okay, so 7.5 gram adalah mass of solute. Okay, so to find mass of solution, kita masukkan je dalam formula ini. And then nanti kita nak cari this mass of solution. Okay, you need to rearrange the equation mathematically. And you will get the mass of solution in gram. Okay, determine the mass of water. Ini sambungan daripada soalan tadi. Needed to prepare 37% of HCl containing 7.5 gram of HCl. So, sekarang kita nak cari mass of water pula. So, mass of solute plus mass of solvent. Okay, so masukkan dalam formula. Kita dah ada mass of solution. Masukkan sini. And then mass of solute 7.5 and then rearrange to find mass of water. Let's try this question. Calculate the amount of water in gram that must be added to 5 gram of urea in the preparation of 16.2% by mass of solution. Okay, so for this question, 
you want to prepare 16.2 percent percentage by mass so mass of solute is 5 gram divide with mass of solution times 100 okay so rearrange to find mass of solution mass of solution is 30.8642 gram and then mass of water will be ikut je formula yang tadi 25.86 gram the last one is percentage by volume percentage by volume is defined as percentage of volume of solute divide with volume of solution and then times 100 Okay, so let's have a look at the example. A 200 ml of unknown perfume contains 28 ml of alcohol. What is the percentage by volume of alcohol in this solution? Okay, so for this question, it is quite straightforward. You just substitute the value. You will get the answer 14%. For next example, calculate the percentage by volume of a solution containing 18.6 ml of ethanol in 120 ml of solution. Okay, so this one also quite straightforward. You just substitute the value and you will get the answer. Next example, calculate the volume of antifreeze required to make 10 liter of a solution of antifreeze which is 14% by volume okay. okay for this question you are given with the percentage by volume so masukkan dalam formula volume will be volume of solute is equals to the volume will be 4 liter 